you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is for all my planner out there, all my planner freaks out there. If you're clicking on this video, it's because you are a, you are a planner freak. You like all the planning things, so this is a plan video. I've been um, getting requests from left and right on both of my Instagrams, my personal, my my main Instagram account, and also my planning account that you guys want to see a pretty much a flip through of my system. So I decided to incorporate um, all my planning systems in this video because it's just a flip through and I'm not gonna go into um, like details because I just pretty much wanna show you the setup. I don't have um, a lot of things inside of them because I'm just starting to set it up. I mean, it is the beginning of the year, but you guys wanted to see what um, are like my like what's my planning setups, what planners I'm using for what I'm using them, um, what is my system, how it works, and honestly speaking, I love watching these type of videos here on YouTube, like the flip throughs and all that. So if you guys want to see um, what's inside my planner systems and what I'm using and all that, all you have to do is keep on watching. So. I decided to have three different systems for the month of, um, I'm sorry, for the year of 2018. Let me just zoom out a little bit. All right. So I decided to have three systems for the year of 2018, and these are my three systems right now. Um, they are brand new, so I'm just testing it out and see how it works for me and see if it's something that um, eventually I wanna keep doing for the rest of the year. But right now, this is my vision. Um, I first have a traveler's notebook, then I have a A5 personal planner from um, Carper Diem, and then I have my brand new Happy Planner. So I have three different systems, and like I said, I'm going to test them out and see if they work for me this year. So excuse my table, is my crafting table, so it's kind of messy all over. All right, so let's go ahead and first, let's get started with the Traveler's Notebook because that's like the first one that you guys wanted to see. Okay, so here in the Traveler's Notebook, this is e, this is from Simple Stories. This is Carper Diem um, Traveler's Notebook and it's their bloom um, design and I love it. I am obsessed with the flowers and everything. And this little fairy ball, ball I think I'm gonna end up taking it out, but as of right now, I got this at Hobby Lobby. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the inside. Um, the elastic is like a teal color, which is pretty nice. And let me just zoom you guys in a little bit. Bring it over here. So the elastic is a little teal color, so it looks kind of nice. All right, so once you open it, you have the pretty much the um, inserts on the on this side right over here. You have all the inserts, um, the, like the pockets to put everything. And because I've been seeing these things on Instagram and on YouTube, I decided to just pretty much make it pretty. This is just to make it, I guess this is just to make it pretty. So I have these little clips here. I made this little clip. I have this little coffee cup um, die cut. Um, I have some pretty journaling cards in the back and over here. This is just pretty much for like decorations. Um, it's not practical to be honest. And then I have this um, little planner. I am a planner girl in this planner world, that Dica that I want to eventually create a dashboard and put it in here. Um, and then of course I just have pretty paper clips, another paper clip, some more die cuts in here and whatnot. Um, I have in this system, I have four notebooks in my system of the, um, of the uh, traveler's notebook. So in here, in this um, envelope on the side, all I have are pretty much important things. This was given to me by my niece, so I keep it there, it's kind of pretty. Um, my, I also keep some coupons because this is what I take with me all the time. Some uh, bill notes that I have. And of course, the Capri Diem, but this is the smallest size, so this actually fits on my calendar that I have here. This is the mini sticker tablet, and I'm obsessed with how pretty the colors are and all that. So that goes in here, and if I have other pro uh, important papers, I stuff them in there. So I have four notebooks in this planner, um, in the traveler's notebook. Again, I like I said, I am testing this out and see if this is something that's gonna work for me this year or not. So the first um, notebook that I have from here is from also Carper Diem, and this one here is my line um, notebook, and in here pretty much I just kind, I will be using it for my list. I have here my one year goal, like what I wanna accomplish this whole year, and then I have some videos, um, YouTube videos that I wanna do. 
I have my quotes. Um, I have things to buy, like for the living room, for my master bedroom, for my beauty room, for the kids room. Um, I also have like my to-do list, and I have to leave some space in between them, so I have um, spaces. Then I have my appointment reminder, so I don't forget my appointments. And so on this list, this uh, notebook is just pretty much going to be, like I said, for my list. Anything that um, it has to do with list and the personal side I will be right jutting them down here then the next one that I have here as you can see it has like the same flowers but it's not the same size um, this one is from Wester's page and is their calendar monthly layout and their weekly layout So I'm trying to get used to this horizontal um, layout I normally like my vertical layouts So I'm trying to get used to this horizontal layout But um, other than that it works great for me And this is like my personal stuff So I put in here things that I have to do that month And then over here on uh, a weekly basis Then the other two notebooks This one right here is my pretty much um, like this is gonna be the actual traveler's notebook notebook normally the traveler's notebook are just for that like just for um, you keeping track of the things you do during the year like wherever you went you take pictures and you put it in here but you can turn it practical and just do everything in one notebook and keep that in your purse. So this is gonna be like my um, scrapbook, my diary, this is gonna be my um, memory keeping. And I haven't done a lot because I'm still waiting on to be able to get the, the Fujifilm printer to be able to fit these type of um, prints in here. So I just pretty much kind of um, have a nice journal card here and then I kind of put another uh, journal car and I put my life, friends, family, memories and I started pretty much with a picture of me and my husband. This was not this year, this was last year but I thought that the picture was pretty and it goes with the theme of what I'm going to be doing in this traveler's notebook which is going to be doing with this type of pictures. And I just kind of wrote a little bit of our story and whatnot. So this notebook is going to be specific for my memories of 2018. And then the last notebook is the one that I'm still kind of um, debating because I already have the calendar system and I also have my planner system. This one was more for like bullet journal and keeping um, track of what I really wanna do. Like it's my tracker. So here I have pretty much um, I where I wanna travel to this year. I wanna where I wanna travel to this year and um, these are the ones, the main ones that I really wanna go and then I'm gonna write down the ones that I actually visited. And also over here I have um, the books that I want to read so this is more like a pretty much like a doodle like wherever you want to doodle on it like or just draw or whatever so I uh, here I just want to put the books that I want to read because for the year 2018 I want to read more into books um, I also have my drinking tracker because I have to drink a lot of water I have to then I have my period tracker, um, January, February and everything and then um, the days coming down when I get my period. And then here I want to, I want to go ahead and um, pretty much set out the birthday so I don't forget. I'm really bad at birthdays so I want to set my birthdays up. I'm not done yet but this is where I want to do my birthdays. So this is pretty much what I'm doing for this one. Um, it's just pretty much doodling. Um, pretty much um, any sketches any ideas that I want they're gonna go in here I don't consider it a bullet journal just because of that so this is very practical this is very personal it's a very personal um, planners notebook I've seen other planners um, I've seen other travelers notebooks that are very pretty and very girly and they have a lot of dashboards and all that but for me I feel like this is practical this is what is personal this is what it'll work eventually I will pretty much probably give in to all those pretty little traveler's notebook and just pretty much um, put pretty pictures and stuff like that but this right now it's my practical um, every day I need to have this I put my notes my grocery list and my appointments here and this is what I carry with me in my purse so this is what it ha that's what's inside my um, traveler's notebook it's not a big deal it doesn't have a lot of inserts I'm still starting out as you can see um, I just have pretty much the regular but if you have like um, Etsy stores where they have pretty stuff for these type of sizes because every one that I found have been for that little tiny foxy fix 
So if you guys have like so anything that you find for this type of travels notebooks, let me know on the um the Etsy shop down below because I'll be happy to see it. The next one here is my um work one. This is what I call my work one. This is the one that stays on my desk. This is a Carper Diem um A5 personal uh, planner in the blush leather color. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I've taken pictures of it before and placed it in my Instagram. So, oop, this one kind of fall. So over here, the same thing, um, the same concepts that we um, normally see on the planners. Just pretty things, a, um, a notepad, just pretty die cuts that I will eventually use in the planner. Um, again, here we have that coffee cup, which I'm obsessed. Some planner, some journaling card in the back, some um, magnetic clips, a clip. And then over here I have some stickers. I also have a mini sticker tablet. These stickers are sm too small for this layout, but I still use them to decorate around them. And then over here I just have a journaling card that says hello. And I have it set up by the um, months. So all this in the beginning, we have um, some pretty face stickers, some stickers. I have a... Um, a folder here so I can place any stickers. This sticker is from my shop. It's called the Balagar Baeba. And then I just pretty much have the month layout, the weekly layout as you guys can see. Um, this is mostly for like my videos, photo shoots, blog posts and all that it's in here. This is what I plan for all of that. Of course the month layout. Then when you go to the back of the planner after the month layouts are done, I have a pretty um, dashboard. Then I have um, pretty much my work stuff. This here is my YouTube um, section. This is where I write down, jot down any video ideas that I have or if I have any video campaigns, anything that I have to do for YouTube is gonna go in here. Then I have my Francis Plan Gam. This is my sticker shop. These are the um, ideas that I have for stickers and uh, pretty much whatever I would have to buy for the shop and um, whatnot. Then here is my Francis Michelle shop. This is my actual shop. Um, this is where I will put my ideas of things, the websites that I need to buy the things, anything that has to do with my Francis Michelle shop. It's gonna be in here. If I have invoices to cover, if I have orders coming in, if I have to order stuff and where I order them from, all that is going to be in this section right here. Then I have my social media. This includes my Instagram, my Facebook, and my Pinterest. And here I just have pretty much analytics and I have notes of what I want to do with my Instagram, what I want to do with my Facebook, my Pinterest, and all that. If I have any, call any campaigns, everything will be coming in here. And then the last thing is just pretty much um, an inspiration. These are where I keep my dashboards and whatever. So these are just pretty much um, pretty dashboards. And I just set them in the back if I have to use them. And I have extra paper for any notes or whatever. So in the back, I have these stickers, which are from the Happy Planner. These are the numbers because these planners do not come numbered, as you guys can see. They come unnumbered, so you have to write down the number on the month as well as you have to write the numbers on the week. So yeah, guys, so this is pretty much what I have on this planner. This one stays in my desk. This one is for work. Here is pretty much everything that I have to do when it comes to YouTube, um, my sticker shop, my clothing shop, and of course my social media. All right, so last but not least is my new system. This is a brand new one. I am going to be making a video on how I prep it because I really wanted to show you what this is about. I'm sorry about the glare from my um, ring light. So this is going to be my system for my faith planning. I really want to get into faith planning. Um, I really want to get into the habit of reading the Bible more and praying a little bit more this year so I feel like I have to keep track of things and by doing this it kind of motivates me to read so the one that I purchased was grace upon grace which is actually the faith planner from the happy planner this is the new one from the um, 2018 I'm gonna do an in-depth about it on my video when it comes to faith planning. So this is what I got. I got this this planner. It's a beautiful planner, it has the rose gold foil on it. So what I'm gonna be doing, and I'm gonna be showing you guys for the month of February and a coming um, video about the faith planning, is that I'm going to look for a month um, challenge. Normally they have monthly, monthly challenges where every day they challenge you to read a specific chapter. And what I'm gonna do is for that month, I'm going to write in every day 
what I have to read in the Bible. And in the weekly um, layout, I'm just pretty much going to pretty much um, part it in half and write whatever ministered to me from that verse that I read that day. And if I have any prayer requests, if I've started praying, I'm going to keep a prayer diary as well on this column. So I will show you guys if you're interested on that. A video on that will be coming pretty soon to kind of give you more as to how I'm going to do my faith planning. I also uh, bought additional um, note papers just in case that Sunday I am at church or that Tuesday I have Bible study and I need more space to write. I'm, I brought, I bought extra paper and that paper I will be putting it there that day with a tab here that says Bible study Tuesday, January 2nd or Sunday service um, January 7th kind of thing. That is what I will be doing with this also. Um, so normally in this planner um, community, you start off with something and then at the end of the year you probably end up with something else but I know that the memory planning for my traveler's notebook is something that I really 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 want to stick to so yeah guys this is pretty much my systems this is what um, my systems consist of as of right now and yeah I hope you guys liked my setup so back to you Francis Alright guys, so we made it to the end of the video. I'm super excited about this video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you guys wanna see more planning videos with me, just let me know. I will definitely be coming to you with them because I have more planning videos coming. I have more ideas. I have more things I wanna share with you guys on my planner site. So if you're a planner addict and you guys wanna follow me on my planner um, Instagram, it's called Planning with Francis and Instagram. And I'm excited because whew, things are great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for sticking till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are a planet addict because I just want to meet more people in the planner community and we can become e-friends. So excited. <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on my planning account. And yeah, let's be friends. I want the more, the better. I want to follow a lot of people who are into planning. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for sticking till the end. Which is best. I'll see you ladies on my next planning video. Bye.